I love telling, and I've told it a million times, of my uh, my uh, final callback, uh, which was the screen test for the movie. And uh, Chadwick and I are doing our scene, and it's going really well. And the producers just say, can you guys wrestle around a bit? And without hesitation, we start like grappling and wrestling, and I split my pants open. And my beads, I was wearing like, like wrist beads, and they go everywhere. And we all bust out laughing. And he's like, I think this guy's the one. He's the one. And I said, if I don't get this job, you need to buy me new pants <laughs> for the least, you know? I think, you know, the memories that you have of that person a lot of times, especially a person like Chadwick, is filled with a lot of joy. And I think one of the best ways to remember him is in joy and with joy. And I think that's what we're doing here tonight. We're remembering him, honoring him. This movie does that, you know, from start to finish. And uh, there's nothing else that feels more right than that. So... You know, he, for, the through line with him is that he's a really honorable man and that he's a stress test. So he stress tests every situation to make sure that they deserve to be where they are, one. Um, a thing that changes is his relationship to everything because he's very much the traditionalist, but he is forced to come to reckon with the world changing around him and becoming so much bigger, the universe even, you know, with the events of Endgame and all that. It's like they're encountering all kinds of intergalactic personalities, you know what I mean? So their world and their universe has broadened and expanded with beyond anything he could ever imagine. So really just like understanding that and having him shift with the shifts because he has no choice. Once you encounter a Thanos, you know, you can't just stay, hey, I'm in the mountains and I'm, on, I'm only about the mountains now. He has to be bigger. He has to really see what things can be.